Hey world, what's going on? Hope all is well. Derek Garvey Guru here. Today we are working on this two terabyte Western Digital Red NAS hard drive. Uh, it came from a customer here in local Massachusetts. His name is Ethan. Um, he removed it out of the NAS enclosure himself, and um, he tried to troubleshoot the problem uh, with the drive uh, himself first. The drive wasn't spinning. Uh, it seems like he had some sort of power outage or something. And um, here's the customer's PCB. Uh, this is the drive, and this is the customer's PCB right here. Essentially, the customer um, read online that typically with power outages, there is a um, transient voltage suppressor kind of damage a tvs a diode damage uh, so he tried to remove it he kind of uh, botched a little bit um, and then uh, he tried to test it on the drive again and it didn't work and at that point he called us and other companies and uh, tried to figure out how to uh, get the drive repaired um, or data recovered so he called us he dropped it off at our Dedham office uh, here in Massachusetts, we got the PCB. Uh, we took out the multimeter and we test, we started testing to see exactly what the problem is. Indeed, the the TVS diode uh, that was in bad shape, so we removed it. And then we started testing other components to see uh, what else is damaged. In this case, also this resistor here was damaged um, because it's on the same line, on the same circuitry. So um, we took care of that. Um, and now the drive is working. Um, we uh, back up the firmware on it. Everything looks good. We checked the smart values. Everything looks healthy. The drive is in working condition. Uh, data is accessible. The customer has some uh, backup sets on it. Uh, so yeah, so what we ended up doing is we fixed this PCB. We uh, read the firmware and then um, we had another drive here in stock that was uh, uh, damaged with mechanical damage. And uh, what we did is just transfer the firmware from the customer's PCB that is uh, not completely in good working condition because of the missing components. And we reprogrammed this PCB for compatibility and other drives. Um, the customer's drive is in fine working condition. So we're going to deliver this to the customer. He's going to plug it back into his uh, NAS enclosure and be able to access the files himself. If you need help, you can go to datarecoveryguru.com and click on let's start with a free diagnosis, fill out the form, and we'll be in touch with you shortly after. Thank you.